What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Nick Pope. I was in two minds whether to give him a go or not, but just on the fact of that the meta ability of this guy in previous years, I just wanted to try him out to give him a go. Because naturally, there's sometimes a keeper that even at the rating does perform well. We saw it with uh, Jack Butland a fair few years ago. We saw it with Pope literally a couple years ago. And most definitely, the A6 looks a decent keeper there's not too much of an upgrade to be fair we've got threes on everything bar from positioning which is two and then four on the reflex he's only coming in at eighteen thousand. we are still yet to see a keeper with a play star plus again i cannot wait to see when we do i want to know if there's like a reason or it's just going to absolutely break a keeper if they're going to do it it's going to be in that team of the year surely he has got what footwork cross claimer and rush out and he's missing far throw which is not a problem whatsoever he is six foot six, which is absolutely massive. So let's have a look and see what this guy can do. So going into the overall forum then, honestly, pretty standard. I, I kind of didn't know what I was expecting from him. The fact that he's only 18k either is he's definitely packable or he's just that bad. Like he's generally just not in anybody's radar. In terms of keepers, he definitely puts himself in a spot that I'd be like, okay, that, that's not, you could get away with him. You may not go end game or, or team of the year game with him, but he definitely becomes at least an option at the very minimum. I still would probably go over pretty much every icon. I'd go Courtois, Alison Edison, Donnarumma would go over him to Stegen. I'd probably then say he would then fit into that sort of category as we've got already some solid amounts of keepers. But I do think in terms of him, he's not a bad one. The only issue he's got is that I must admit this year, I'm a big fan of Dudek. I feel like his extra info, well, his, what, his World Cup hero version is actually not a bad upgrade for him. Going into the 88, there's just no question that that dynamic is incredible. Love the reference as well as the obvious animations, but that is quite a nice card. So he already has some competition already with a new upgrade and then just the standard Allison Edison as well. In terms of, could you put him in a team though? I feel like you could get away with it. Like I say, I don't think he's going to be your top performer. Made a few decent saves. Nothing too crazy. I felt like he was letting in what you really should and then saving what I really should. There was no like outstanding efforts that I'm like, okay, yeah, that that is the, the deal breaker there. You could tell that he's making everything, but he is just as standard as I could imagine. So overall, I would go, I'd go a solid, seven and a half i think he's decent but there is quite a few cards i would go ahead of him 